Hello guys, uh, Mr. Michelle back. Today we're going to talk about multiplying a decimal fraction by a single digit whole number. And we're going to relate that to the written method or the standard algorithm. And we're going to model it on an area, uh, we're going to model it on a place value chart to show multiplication and show how that really is repeated addition, right? Multiplication is an easy way for us to do repeated addition of the same value. So in our first problem in lesson 10, lesson 11, it asks us to multiply 3 times 2 tenths. So first, firstly, reading that is very important. 3 times 2 tenths. And another way to think of this is we have multiplication is repeated addition. So really, we have three groups of 2 tenths. So we can add them to find the same answer, but we can multiply and the product and the sum are going to be the same. One way I like to read this is three groups of two tenths. Now, you can't always assume that of means multiply, but a lot of the times it does. And when I like to translate it from numerical form to word form, I say to myself, three groups of two tenths. Okay, so what does three groups of two tenths look like? Well, let's model it on our place value chart. Two tenths, two tenths, and two tenths. We have three groups of two tenths, and what's the total there? What do we have? We have six tenths, right? So our standard algorithm, or the way we would write this sentence, is three groups of two tenths is six tenths. Now that's a fairly simple one, and uh, we're going to get into a little bit more complicated stuff, but not too much more complicated. If I asked you to do three groups of three tenths, I think we can understand how that might look. Three groups of three tenths is not very different. Three groups of three tenths. Again, three groups of three tenths is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Remember, think of that as repeated addition, nine tenths. Now, what if I asked you to do this problem? Three groups of four tenths. Okay, seems simple enough. We'll take three groups and we'll make them each four tenths. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have twelve tenths. Okay, twelve tenths. Thing is, twelve tenths is greater than one. Twelve tenths is really equal to ten tenths, and we have an extra two tenths left over. And as we've seen before, ten tenths is one whole. I don't know if you know this, but a fraction is a division problem, and ten divided by ten is one. Our leftover two tenths go here. And we can show that on a place value chart also. Twelve tenths, as my students know, when we write a number on a place value chart, like 12 tenths, it's going to end. The last digit in the number 12 is going to end in the tenths place. So we write 12, making sure that the 2 from our 12 ends in the tenths, and we have our decimal point to show this is tenths, this is one whole, and 1 and 2 tenths, 1 and 2 tenths, 12 tenths. These are all different ways to say that same number. All right, so what did we have to do? We had to regroup. And if we looked at it as our 12 tenths, we really took 10 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I said, all right, 10 tenths. I know 10 tenths equals one whole. And I have two tenths left over. All right, so that's an example of, uh, you know, regrouping, rebundling cashing those in, and when you have 10 of something on a place value chart, you can always cash it in for one of something to the, uh, in the place value column to the left. So 10 tenths equals one one. 10 thousandths equals one hundredth. 10 hundredths equals one thousand. So it's always going to be equal to 10, of, 10 in one place value chart will always be equal to one in the group column to the left, okay? All right, let's try a different one. It's going to look a little trickier, but we can we can make it really simple, okay? The next problem asks us to do 43 hundredths times 2. So we write two groups of 43 hundredths. Now, this is a larger 
well, it has more digits. It's not larger than six tenths or you know five tenths, but it has two decimal places. So it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. We can model it on the place value chart. So I have 43 hundredths, which I know if I wrote it on my board, 43 hundredths, I know there's gonna be four tenths and there's gonna be three hundredths, all right? So now what I'm asked to do is to make two groups of those. So, okay, no problem there. I'll take another group of four and another group of three hundredths. And now my job is just to count them up. I have one, two, three, four, five, six hundredths. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tenths. And another way we can think of this is if I was to show this multiplication as repeated addition, there's my two groups of 43 hundredths. And if I was to add those, I would get the same answer. And when you can get the same answer using two different strategies, you're going to be fairly confident you have the right answer. All right, we'll do one more. What if I had four groups of 423 thousandths? All right. So I'm going to write it from word form. Four groups of four groups of 423 thousandths. 423 thousandths. Four groups of that. Okay. So in the number 423 thousandths, let's see what we're, we're working with here. Four hundred twenty-three thousandths. Let's model that. We have four tenths. You know what? Instead of my handy dandy magnets, I'm going to draw them as lines. One, two, three, four, two hundredths, and three thousandths. Now, it's asking us to show four groups of that. So I'm going to do this four times. You're really paying attention and you're kind of understanding this you're going to see that we're going to have to do some rebundling and cashing in so let's start over here in our lowest place value one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i have twelve thousandths and remember what i said if you have a group of ten you can cash them in for one in the unit to the left so i'm going to take ten of these and i'm going to cash them in for one more of these now I'm left with two thousandths, right? These two. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine hundredths. And remember, that I would have had eight, but I had one cashed in from the thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen of these guys. So I'm going to find a group of ten, and I know I can take ten tenths and make one whole. So I'm done with these, and I still have a group of six left over. So my new total, my product, when I have four groups of 423 thousandths, is one and 692 thousandths. All right, guys. Good luck. Oh, and I have to do some shout outs. Uh, these are for students of mine who've completed all their work so far, and we're already in October. And I'm really proud of these guys. I'm proud of everyone, but I'm especially proud of these guys today. In 225, Gyro and Jeremy. In 222, John Ziel, Israel, Nathan, and Jelani. In 226, Aiden, Carolyn, Heidelis, Anaya, Roslyn, and Mabel. Good job, guys. I'm really, really proud of you.